The Power of United Prayer Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, we confess that there is one body, one Holy Spirit, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in us all. We pray to you, God of patience and comfort, to grant us, the Church, and the nations of the world, to be like-minded toward one another as we seek your face, so that we are able to glorify you, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, with one mind and one mouth. Help us to accept one another, just as Christ accepted us, so that we will bring praise to your name. We confess that our conduct in the past was unworthy of the gospel of Christ, But now we desire to be steadfast in one spirit and to do our utmost together for the faith of the gospel with one mind. We are sorry that we have only looked out for our own interests and not for the interests of others. But now we confess our selfish ambitions and conceit, and in lowliness of mind we humble ourselves before you to ask your help, so that we can esteem the other believers as better than ourselves. As we come together to unite in prayer, give us compassion for one another, to love as brothers, to be tender-hearted and courteous, and not to return evil for evil, or reviling for reviling, but on the contrary to bless, so that we may also receive a blessing. We will no longer be wise in our own opinions, and will not set our minds on high things, but associate with the humble. Help us to bear with one another in love, not to focus only on ourselves, as Christ did not please himself, and to endeavor to keep the unity of spirit in the bond of peace. And please destroy any unholy alliances that hinders our prayers. Thank you for giving us apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, and teachers to be equipped for the work of ministry and to be edified as the body of Christ, until we all come to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. We no longer want to be children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine, deceived by the words or doctrines of people. But, through speaking the truth in love, we want to grow up in all things into the head, Jesus Christ, from whom the whole body, all of us, are joined and knitted together. Jesus promised us that when we are united like this in prayer, and agree on what we are asking, that you, our Father in heaven, will give us what we ask, and that he will be in our midst. Encourage us to persevere as we wait for your promises, and not to lose heart. Thank you that even though we are weak, and we do not know what to pray, the Holy Spirit intercedes for us. You who search the hearts, please hear our prayers. Now may God, the source of hope, fill us with all joy and peace in believing that we may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. 